Welcome everyone to another video on the Karting Tips channel and this is episode number 3 of How to Hot Lap. Today we'll be covering the different speed secrets and racing lines behind taking a double hairpin corner at an indoor go-kart track and an outdoor go-kart track. And as a bonus, I'll also be covering the different overtaking techniques which you can apply at a double hairpin corner. So hopefully you'll leave this video with some useful tips and tricks. When you're negotiating a double hairpin corner, it's important to stick to the concept of slow in, fast out. When you're approaching the first hairpin corner at a slower speed, you have more time and more control to dictate exactly where to position the cart before apexing. Although you're losing time on entry of the corner, you'll gain a substantial amount of lap time on exit of the corner because this enables you to take the second hairpin corner absolutely flat out. So to give you a visual aspect of the slow in fast out concept at a double hairpin corner, let's roll the onboard footage and give you an analysis. So you need to approach the first hairpin corner all the way from the outside edge, start to brake hard now, really slow the cart down in preparation to dictate the cart to take a late apex at the first hairpin corner. And as we get to the first hairpin corner, we've taken a relatively late apex. Our sights are now gonna be set on driving flat out to the next hairpin corner. Remember, you don't need to brake over here, just drive smoothly, but flat out. And for the second hairpin corner, again, take a relatively late apex. Apex. Your job is not done now because you need to run the cart all the way out to the outside edge, really maximizing your exit speed and fulfilling the concept of slow in but fast out. Now let's ride on board at the Jordan Speed Center which is also an outdoor go-kart track, except this time the double hairpin corner is slightly wider. So you need to approach the first hairpin corner from the outside edge and now start to get your braking done and really slow the cart down in preparation to take a middle apex at the first hairpin corner. And as we throw the cart into the first hairpin corner, we're gonna do a middle apex. Now on this track, the distance between the first and second hairpin corner is very short. So rather than wasting meters and running the cart out to the outside edge, only run the cart out to the middle part of the track on exit of the first hairpin corner. So you're saving meters and this way you can get a smooth run heading towards the second part of the hairpin corner make sure you leave a three quarter gap on entry and absolutely flat out once again no need to break over here aiming once again for a middle apex and as we get to that apex point now we've executed a perfect middle apex now your job is almost done you just need to run the cart out to the outside edge maximize your exit speed and you've nailed that racing line perfectly the Jordan Speed Center actually has a zip line which runs above the karting track. So the footage I'm gonna roll is actually taken from the top of the zip line. And we're gonna be focusing on that small speck which is a go-kart where the red arrow is pointing. And let's see the racing line that the driver takes through the double hairpin corner. So the driver approaches the corner from the outside edge. He cuts in and takes a middle apex. Now the key is at the exit part of the corner where you see he doesn't run all the way to the outside edge. Rather he stays at the center and sets himself up nicely to take the second part of the hairpin corner absolutely flat out. Once again, a middle apex and running the cart out to maximize his exit speed. So now that we've covered all of the speed secrets for a double hairpin corner, which you can apply at an outdoor go-kart track, Let's analyze the exact racing lines which you can use at an indoor go-kart track for a double hairpin corner. When you're racing at an indoor go-kart track, the layout tends to be quite tight and twisty. When you're negotiating a double hairpin corner similar to the one at the Villaggio karting circuit, you want to apply the three-quarter rule. The three-quarter rule, as first introduced in episode two of How to Hot Lap, is where you'd approach the corner either three quarters away from the inside edge or three quarters away from the outside edge, depending on where the grip is located. So now let's ride on board at the Villaggio karting circuit to give you an analysis on how to take a double hairpin corner at an indoor go-kart track. So in this case, the red circle acts as a reference point on where you should be approaching the first hairpin corner from. And as we drive towards it, we're going to be leaving a three quarter of a gap away from the outside edge, because the grip in this case is located closer to the inside edge. Start to break now, get your turn in done and aim for a middle apex. And in this case, the red and white barrier acts as a reference point. In karting, look out for reference points like this. It's very important. On the exit part, remember, save meters. Don't run the cart all the way out. 
And again, in this case, leave a three quarter of a gap away from the inside edge because the grip is located over here. Start to turn now, again, absolutely flat out, no need to break, just a smooth turn in. And you're aiming again for a middle apex. And luckily enough, we've got the red and white barrier to act as a reference point, and we've executed that perfectly. But at the exit part of the corner now, maximize that exit speed. And as we've circled there, the double white barrier is where you want to aim the cart towards, because you're going to be maximizing your exit speed and gaining a whole load of lap time. So now that we've covered some of the speed secrets for taking a double hairpin corner, the key that you should remember is to apply the concept of slow in fast out and see if that works for you at your go-kart track. Because you're going to be sacrificing speed on the entry of the corner, but that gives you a chance to perfectly dictate exactly where to position the cart. And then on the exit part of the corner, you're going to reap the rewards for sacrificing early on by being able to drive absolutely flat out. And that's really where you gain that lap time. Let's move on to the final part of this video where I'm going to be showcasing some overtaking maneuvers at a double hairpin corner where I'm using the slow in fast out concept to help me. So as we ride on board, I want to overtake the driver who's in the light blue t-shirt circled in this photo. How do we do that? Well, I need to approach the first hairpin corner from the outside edge, nice and slowly, and aim to take a late apex. Notice how the driver I'm trying to overtake is off the racing line. So now I can anticipate him to be off the racing line and wide at the exit part of the second hairpin corner. And as we get to the second hairpin corner now, we take a late apex, and on the exit part, the driver I'm trying to overtake has done exactly that. He's ran wide. So now we need to stick to our racing line and maximize our exit speed, and that allows me to overtake this driver with ease. For another example, we're going to try to overtake the driver uh, in the black t-shirt this time, who's circled in this photo. He's going to do a similar thing. As we approach the first hairpin corner from the outside edge, he runs wide at the mid part of the first hairpin corner, as you can see, off the racing line. What we need to do over here, stick to our racing line, uh, try to aim for a late apex. And what happens is, at the second part of the hairpin corner, he's going to run wide once again, where the arrow is pointing to that circle. That's where I anticipate the driver in the black t-shirt to go. And at the exit part of the corner, look at that. He's run just slightly wide there, but we're going to maximize our exit speed here and make the overtake stick perfectly. Now for the third overtake, we're going to be an indoor go-kart track. As I go to apex at the first hairpin corner, you can see the driver head has absolutely ran wide completely there. I don't have a chance to uh, fully make the overtake stick through this first hairpin corner. As you can see, we're side by side over here, but that's good news for us because we have the second part of the hairpin corner to expect the driver ahead to run wide once again. And he, as we roll the footage now, he does exactly that. And that pocket of space is where we aim the cart towards and we can make a clean overtake stick. And to explain that overtake once more, this is a similar scenario. We're approaching the first hairpin corner, aiming to take a middle apex over here. Notice how the driver ahead hasn't even apexed, he's ran wide. Well, I can anticipate him to do exactly that for the second hairpin corner. And as we drive towards the second hairpin corner now, you can see he's battling the cart there. He's ran wide, he hasn't even bothered to apex. And as you can see, this arrow is referring to that pocket of space, which we can run the cart into and really uh, um, maximize our exit speed over here and as we maximize the exit speed we've made that overtake stick perfectly and with that guys we're going to conclude the third episode of how to hot lap i hope you did enjoy this episode and i hope you learned the different speed secrets which we've covered let me know if this uh, helps you gain any lap time at your go-kart track how many seconds or how many tenths of a second did you gain i'd be fascinated to find out so let me know in the comment section down below be sure to share this video with your friends. You obviously don't want to share it with your racing rivals though. But until the next video guys, I will see you next time.